We bought a 2020 Kia Sorento to use as a base for camping, trekking, and biking trips. One of our first projects was to add a tow hitch for our bike rack. Watch as David installs our new hitch. Hi there, this is David and Marcy Lynn, the Just a Little Further crew, and we're here with another how-to video. Hope you enjoy it. After shopping around and reading all the reviews, we bought a Kurt hitch on Amazon. I watched several YouTube videos that describe how to install a hitch on a Sorento, and some are pretty good. All of them missed a few things that had I known about, however, I could have saved myself quite a bit of time. First, let's take a look at the parts. There aren't a lot. Other than the hitch, there's only seven bolts and three washers. There's also a few sheets of documentation. The first step is to remove the spare tire. Start by removing the dust cap. The wrench that is usually used for lowering the spare is right here. There's a handle for the wrench if needed, but the spare could be lowered without it. Keep lowering until the tire rests on the ground and there's slack in the cable. Once the tire is removed, retract the cable to keep it out of the way during the rest of the installation. The next step is to remove the plastic body part that's located just behind the rear wheel on the driver's side. It's held in place in four spots. Remove the two pins underneath. There are two nuts that also have to be loosened. I used a 14 millimeter socket on a long extension and turned it by hand. Next there are two rubber extrusions that have to be trimmed off. Only one video that I watched mentioned these extrusions and it said to just clip them off with wire cutters. That didn't work so well for me. There's a steel rod down the center of the extrusion and there's no way I could cut it off with even my large wire cutters. Next I tried a handsaw. It's a difficult angle to work in. A hacksaw probably would have been better. Finally, I used a multi-tool with a metal cutting blade. It still took several minutes. If I were doing it again, I'd use a Dremel type tool with a cutoff wheel. The next step is to lower the exhaust system. Use a strap underneath it to support it. There are three rubber rings holding the exhaust system up. I used a pry bar to remove them. I also discovered that there are two rubber grommets that have to be removed to get the hitch to fit snugly against the frame. This is one of them on the driver's side, and there's another one just like it on the passenger side. Now that all the prep work is done, we're finally ready to put the hitch in place. This job is easier done with two people. If you're by yourself, rest the passenger side of the hitch on top of the exhaust and lift the driver's side into place. Use one of the half-inch bolts, the largest ones, to hold this end in place. Thread a nut onto the bolt and hand tighten to keep the bolt in place. Use the smaller 7 16 inch bolts to hold the other end in place. The short 10 millimeter bolts and washers go in last. Two of them go in the passenger side, one goes on the driver side. When the bolts are all in place, tighten them all down.
Ideally, you should use a torque wrench and tighten each bolt to the specifications given in the instructions. I don't have a torque wrench, so I used a 15-inch breaker bar to tighten them. Reattach the rubber rings holding the exhaust system. On my Sorento, one of the bolt heads for the hitch interfered with the plastic body panel and I couldn't get it to go back in place. I had to notch out the plastic body panel to get it to fit. Once you've notched it out, reinstall the body panel. And finally, put the spare back on. In case you forgot, the side of the tire with the valve stem goes up. As you lower the cable that supports the tire, keep tension on the cable to keep it from getting tangled up inside the mechanism. I found that it was a little faster to use a ratchet. And the finished installation with our bike rack in place. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please click on the like button below. If you want to see more of our how to, travel, sailing, road trips, and trekking videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We also blog and update our website regularly. So check us out at www.justalittlefurther.com. Bye for now.